So I thought this morning, uh, instead of doing the blog and kind of talking about what I'm going to do on the car, I thought it was about time we did a quick walk round. Um, the car's about to go in to have its respray done, so uh, it's pretty much stripped, ready to go in. Um, you'll notice some, there's some tape around the windscreen. I just need to do a bit of resealing before um, it goes away. I don't want any uh, water or paint or whatever going inside the car. Um, so, yeah, I'll just give you a quick walk around. Hopefully, this is a little bit better than me just typing away and telling you what's going on. Um, I've got about two weeks before the repaint gets done. So I've got a little bit of time to finish things up, just uh, just in preparation of that. So uh, yeah, I'll give you a walk around, see what you think. So this is how the car looks at the moment. Um, as you can see, the emblems are off, the fog lights are out, trim pieces are off, the plastics are out, the wheel arch liners are gone, um, the screen trim's gone. If we come around to the side, you'll see the side strips, the doors, uh, the doors, the doors are still there. The door handles are out. Um, the cappings off the doors are out, so basically everything that needs to come off the car, ready for them to make a start. I am going to drive this car for about 20 miles to get it to the paint shop, so um, it needs to be in one piece. Um, obviously there's bumpers to come off the spoiler, a few other bits and bobs, um, but that should only take about 25 minutes to just get everything uh, off the car. Um, I'm guessing you probably can't see from the camera, um, the paint job that I did isn't great. Um, yes, it was okay. It was good to get some paint on the car once once I've done the welding. Um, but really, given the amount of mechanical work that's been done on the car, the car's been completely rebuilt. It's a shame not to finish off with a really good paint job. So that's what's going to happen. Um, yeah, let me let me walk you around. So at the moment we've got no we've got no door handles after. <laughs> Just reach inside and so moving on to the interior you'll see the door cards are out um, everything's pretty much stripped back ready um, the glass has been out and come back and has gone back in again just to transport the car to where it's being painted uh, center consoles out at the moment I've got some ideas around what I'm going to do with the gear shift uh, and the shift knob I'm really not a fan of the of the square Honda fitment um, not sure why they did that uh, but anyway, it stayed on the fourth gen probably, so somebody must have liked it. The other thing I'm going to change is the steering wheel. Now I've got a, a steering wheel on order. Um, and I've got some ideas around what I'm going to do with the cruise control buttons. They're not going to be on the new wheel. They're going to be uh, located elsewhere. But um, I'm going to share that when once I've, I've got a firm idea of how I'm going to do that. So moving on to the back of the car. Um, I've left the spoiler on for now. That's only um, three or four bolts. Um, back of the car stripped out, ready for get, to get the lights um, out again, two minutes of a job. Uh, as you can see the emblem, the emblems have been removed. I have done the, uh, the rear wiper delete and obviously the rear washer jets come out which is quite fiddly to do but it's, uh, it's not too bad. Okay, let's just go around the other side. Again, the mouldings are off, door handles are out. Um, I think we're um, pretty much ready to go to paint, which is, uh, at this stage, two years into the project, it's quite, quite an exciting thing to do. Um, while I'm on this side of the garage, I'll spot the uh, Bad Obsession cup of tea, mandatory. Um, these are some HT leads that I bought. Now, yes, they were bought on eBay, but they were kind of 20, 30 pounds. Lethal. Put these on the car, and they were actually giving off sparks outside of the lead, so they're clearly not um, insulated correctly. I uh, got a couple of really nasty blasts off them, so the Honda leads have gone back in. Just a word of warning, if you are going to change the leads, try and get some Honda leads or NGKs. Do not go for the aftermarket ones. Absolute garbage, straight in the bin. Um, this is my original distributor. Um, it's done 144,000 miles. Put a new one on, new refurbished one on, just half of the course um, the bearing in the replacement alternator is so noisy it's, I think it's a really cheap bearing if anybody's got the um, correct bearing for this uh, TDO2 distributor let me know I guess it's a Coyo um, but if you've got the partner I'm basically going to rebuild this distributor and put that back on the car um, again rebuilt aftermarket parts not great 
Um, still got the four shock absorbers uh, up for grabs. These are KYBs, used for 170 miles, um, 100 quid for all four. If anybody wants them in the UK or Europe, give me a shout. I've also got a set of Direnza 25 to 30 mil lowering springs. Again, I put coilovers on the car, um, so these are not needed. So give me a shout if you're interested in buying those. Okay, we're going to um, give you a quick listen to the car so you can hear it running. Obviously, the, the engine's been rebuilt, and um, Rich and the guys from Performance Auto Works um, done a fantastic job, and you can hear how smooth this engine is. It's only done about 200 miles since the rebuild, um, but it's really, really nice. I think you you might enjoy hearing that, uh, hearing a, a really old Prelude uh, running sweetly, so let's switch it on. So let's give the engine a start, let's see how it's sounding today. Now, um, it's not been started for, for a few days, so it's going to be cold. Um, starts on the button once you've switched the immobiliser off. Um, so let's get under the bonnet. So as you can hear, this engine's running as sweet as a nut. I can't thank the guys at Performance Auto Works enough for the work that they've done. Um, this car's going to go on for many, many years. Um, obviously, the car's still cold at the moment, so it's, it's idling quite high. But once it's once it's warmed up, it's absolutely spot on. There's only about 200 miles on the car since it was rebuilt, so there's some more running in to do. I've got to do an oil change, um, but this is. Uh, this is really good, so um, thanks again to the guys at Performance Auto Works. If you've got any questions, please drop me a line, uh, and hopefully I'll be giving you some more updates in the next couple of weeks.